Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today, we are out here in the woods at Revolution Adventures, or also known as Revolution Off-Road Adventures. And this is a place that sits on 225 acres in Claremont, Florida, just a very short distance away from the theme parks. And we met with Kevin, the owner out here, to uh, take part in a few activities that they do and give you an idea of what they do out here. If you're looking for something to do in the area around the theme parks that's not theme park related, want something different, a little outdoor adventure, they do it all here. They do uh, fishing, uh, they do clay shooting, uh, archery, there's ATV rides, there's mucky duck amphibian rides, um, there's side-by-side -side ATV riding, uh, all kinds of fun stuff to do out here at uh, Revolution Adventures. And um, like I said, it's on 225 acres of beautiful property, a 65 acre lake. They've been out here for about 14 years. They do a lot of stuff with uh, like sponsoring corporate events and things like that to uh, do te team building and, and all of that. But today we're out here to take part in, uh, in three things. We, we did some, uh, some mucky duck adventures, we did some archery, and we also did some side-by-side -side ATV. And we're gonna give you a glimpse at that so you can see what it's like to visit Revolution Adventures. So like I said, this is some really beautiful property out here to take a ride across. And as you arrive at Revolution Adventures, you're going to drive past this lake right here and come up to the office for check-in. And you'll notice when you get to the office, right here on the side, it shows a lot of the stuff that they do. But uh, on the other side, you are warned, be prepared to get dirty, maybe very dirty. And that makes this a whole lot of extra fun with all the grime and the dust and the mud. And they also warn you that you may see wildlife. And uh, they were not kidding because I was just like minding my own business, getting my mask all ready when this happened. It's crazy. So I'm totally kidding, there were no graboids from trimmers on property, but there was this little guy. Look at him poking his little head out there, that little turtle with his gang of fish friends backing him up right there behind him. Just kind of poking up saying, hey, take a picture of me. How adorable is that little guy, huh? But uh, okay, enough enough about the wildlife, let's, let's get on to what we're, we're here to do. Our first adventure was going to be on the Mucky Duck vehicle, and this is an amphibian type vehicle, good for water and land. This was the adventure that my wife was most looking forward to, because um, it it's probably one of the most unique. And you'll see here by looking at the vehicle, it's got the tread and stuff for some good off-roading, um, but also the shape of the vehicle, it's got that boat bottom that, that makes it float. and. Our guide for this adventure was Rhett, and Rhett was awesome. He was awesome. He made sure that you knew how to work the controls, you were very comfortable with the vehicle, and that's something that uh, they're good about here at, uh, at Revolution is safety. Um, they want to make sure everybody is very in control, feeling very safe, um, and knows how to use the equipment before you go out. So it protects you and the equipment. Now, the mucky duck, and we're going to get in the water here in a second so you can see how it functions, but um, if you're looking for something that's not extremely fast, but is a very unique experience, this may be something for you. Because if you notice, the handlebars are on the wrong side to, to begin with, so, so you're driving on, on the wrong side. Plus, it steers like a tank. It's very unusual the way it steers. And... Um, and and just the, the the function of the water and the land as well. It's it's a super unique experience, but not very fast. So this mucky duck uh, vehicle, it's crazy to drive because they tell you it's like driving a tank, and it is like driving a tank. It's uh, it's crazy the way it steers. And being crazy in the way it steers is not a bad thing. It's just very unique. So, uh, so it, 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 that adds to the experience. Now you'll see that this machine takes on a lot of mud. Um, you can hit a lot of mud puddles. We did do a lot of mud puddles um, and some, some very deep mud as well. A lot of splashing and stuff like that. But you can get stuck and we actually did get stuck one time. 
in one of the deep holes. And uh, it can happen. But look, here comes Rhett. Rhett's just going to back up right down here uh, and hook up a little tow cable to help give us an extra little tug out of the mud. And we are off and running again. So don't worry about being stuck because if you do get stuck, there you go. Now look at this, how, how this takes to water. Here you go, you just drive it right into the lake, just like that. Now, it's a very unusual sensation when you're driving a car into a lake. It doesn't feel right, but at the same time, it feels so right because it's so wrong. You wouldn't drive your car into a lake, but this gives you the opportunity to drive your car into a lake. And suddenly, your backwoods drive in the dirt and the mud becomes a nice leisurely boat ride on the lake and look at that perfect weather that perfect calm lake just a beautiful little ride and then when you're done with your boat ride it's time to to head back over to land and go back on, la on land again and it I mean it's just it's just as easy as this you come out of the the water and it just crawls right on up onto land just like that and then you're off and running again so like I said it's a super unique experience to do the mucky duck I highly recommend that for something totally different um, but it was time to move on to our next activity and that was archery so we headed on over here to the archery range and uh, neither my wife or I had ever done archery before so we met with Chris, and Chris is also awesome. And he went over all the basics of the bow, the functions, how to hold it, how to stand, the safety equipment that we would be using, um, uh, basically how just the whole thing worked, um, the tension and, and all of that. So, uh, so it, it was a really good instruction, and, and he took a lot of time. Uh, with with both of us to make sure that we were very comfortable with the bow, that the tension was correct and felt right and all that. Um, and then we shot. And he was such a good instructor that, that, watch this, so this is like my wife's third shot is all. And watch, she just pop right in the bullseye. <laughs> Look at that. So never shooting before. So that's how good Chris is at his instruction. So, you know, I, I couldn't let her show me up, so... I had to, to do one as well. And uh, here we go, let loose, and whoosh, boom, there we go, bullseye, yaha. So, not bad for first time try doing archery. It, it was a lot of fun. This was a, a super, super relaxing activity. It, it doesn't seem like it would be, but it's super relaxing, believe me. You need to try this if you haven't done archery before. But now moving on, we had to get to the side-by-side -side ATVs. And these are cool. Look, they, they look like little jukes. Anyway, um, they're side-by-side -side vehicles, and they're a little different than the standard ATV, uh, they're, and they're a lot faster, so you see there's more safety equipment involved. Had to put on the, the helmets and the, and the safety gear. But this drives like a car. So it's not your standard ATV. You notice here that, uh, that you've got the steering wheel, gas pedal, gear shift, that kind of thing. And our guide for this was Chris, who helped us do the archery as well. And again, made sure that we were comfortable and safe with the, with the vehicle. And then we were off and running. Now that is an ATV ride, huh? <laughs> Very cool. So I want to thank Kevin and Caitlin and Rhett and Chris and all the other awesome people 
out there at Revolution Adventures for taking such good care of us, keeping us safe, and showing us such a great time. Um, this is a really awesome place with lots of fun stuff to do. You gotta check it out. So if you couldn't tell, we had a whole lot of fun out here at Revolution Adventures. And uh, I, I, I recommend coming out here. It's, uh, it's great, like I said, it's a very short distance from the theme parks. If you're in the area wanting something different to do, get out, even, you know, just, just come out for a ride. Each adventure takes about an hour or so, and uh, you, you're gonna get muddy, you're gonna get some sun, you're gonna get some fresh air. It's a whole lot of fun. So visit them on their website for more information of how you can make reservations and come out to Revolution Off-Road Adventures and check them out. And I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, a look at Revolution Adventures. If you did, click that little like button, cha-ching, and also click the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel so that more of these videos will pop up in your feed when they're ready to go. Usually about every three or four days I'm gonna put up a new video. So thanks for watching with me again and we will see you next time.